Hello, everyone. This is uh, Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, we are gonna have a, a short video about uh, module types. Okay, what kind of types of modules? Because based on different types, when we include into our module, it's a little bit different. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at module types it has uh, three types okay the first one is built-in you already know what is built-in right the built-in which is already available in node uh, like uh, what kind of like uh, uh, suppose later on we will use uh, node to create a server you can it will have already has http so once you download the node.js you can immediately using the http module there's no need for other like dependency or others and uh, like if you want to uh, operate with the file system you can using fs okay like uh, if you want to do the stream you can do the stream and the buffer and the others okay there's a uh, lots of them this is built in so for built in type when we are uh, using uh what we when we want to require we just add a require okay and then in your jasper http and you hold this like uh, const http then you get this uh, functionality okay and this is built in another one is uh, like a third party uh, third party library or module which means uh, suppose uh let on uh, uh, what uh, i uh Oh, this one. Like uh, when we build a web application and uh, we want we will change some files, right? But every time you change the file, you have to restart your application in order to get the changes. But uh, there's other uh, libraries or there are other module ready, okay? Like uh, not the moon, it can help you it can detect the changes and automatically restart restart the server for you so you do not need to manually shut down the server and restart again rerun again and uh, like uh, suppose uh, 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 if you want to do the testing like uh, you can using the mo uh, mocha or if you want to do the assertion you can using uh, chai right so those are the third party for the third party module uh, the, they are using the same syntax to require like suppose I already uh, installed the mocha I want to use that you can use in require after you installed don't you worry and uh, we will talk more and more okay here you just know understand the different types okay the other one the other one is about your own module what is your own module which means you create a js file okay any js file then it's gonna be a module and whatever you export it's gonna be required other other application other js file can require but suppose here i have a um, here i have a like a previous example we have a greeting under this and we have another main.js which they are under the same package and uh, suppose main.js we are needed to use some functionality the fn how do that is a const like f equals require for your own module they are special you have to start with the path like a current path dot means the current folder right slash greeting Yes. For built-in module and the third-party module, there is no nothing before this module name. But for uh, our code, our own module, you you have to add the path. Start with a dot or dot dot means go up another folder, right? Go up, then you can do 
Okay, and uh, another thing is when we include our own module, there's no need for JS. You can directly using. Uh, wait for a second. You can directly using dot and uh, dot greeting. It will know it's uh, for the J. Uh, it's for the dot JS file. Okay. So uh, in this video, we talk up. We briefly talk about the different types of module. The built-in module is which not provided for you. The third party is uh, uh, the dependency you installed manually into your application, and the other part is the module which is the JS files you created by yourself. So that's it. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye bye.